Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I'm here to do an unboxing of the Canon Selfie Compact Photo Printer CP1300. I ordered this off of HSN. I paid $119 for this. I got the actual printer. I got the paper that you need to print on and it is not one of those printers where you can use regular photo paper. This paper is supposed to be indestructible, <laughs> supposedly. We'll find out. And then they also have Photo Expression Select 3 included. It's got three titles in one. And I don't know anything about this software, but it's got Creative Photo Composition, Movi Photo Editor 5, and Print Artist Goal 25. So I will be uh, doing that. I'm also going to blank out the activation codes on the screen. But I wanted to come up and do an unboxing. I don't know anything about this product. The reason why I decided to purchase this is because I've been doing a lot with photo albums where I've been doing a lot of printing. And then there are times when I need an instant photo and I don't want to have to run to a drugstore. So I thought that I would try this product out. Now, let's talk about this first. In here, you have 54 sheets plus the ink cartridges and they recommend that every time you use the paper that's in the box that you also use the ink cartridges that come in here so we'll go ahead and open up the actual box and let's just see if it's got anything on here telling us what it does it says that it takes memory uh has memory card slots wi-fi printing I can do air print. I can use a USB uh, stick. Uh, it has something that tilts up. Got the portrait image optimized. Takes It's 4 by 6 photos that take about 47 seconds to print each photo. You can uh, ID photo print. And cropping, red eye reduction, smooth skin, my colors. And then it says it has optional battery that can, I guess, can be purchased because it's not included. And this is the pick bridge. And I don't know what that is. But we're going to open this up. We're going to see what if the instructions are usable, user-friendly. And see if we can get this up and running with little to no issues. So I always like to see what they put on the outside. And it says optional consumables and then it's telling you that you can get these uh, products here so they're telling you to cut that off the flap you have your warranty information here a manual these are the four sheets that come free with the camera so if you order this somewhere else you'll end up only having four sheets of photo paper that you can use so i ordered from hsn that's why this was included in the box as well i have no idea what this is since i don't know but i'm thinking that it's the photo tray it says open back that way and then it says open again but yeah, I'm not going to open that one, but you open this up to get, and I'm assuming you put your papers in here, but I haven't read anything yet. I'm just doing an unboxing. Just want you to see how it's packaged. So these are, look like some kind of ink cartridge here. Don't know, <laughs> guessing. We've got a power cord. 
here. And we've got another cord here. The other part of the power cord. So this actually goes into here. Canon always has two part power sources. And then we also got that piece we talked about. And then this is the printer. And remember that they say it's compact. And I just want to make sure nothing else is in the box. Okay. So this is the actual printer. Open it next. And for right now, all I need to do is just print some pictures that I'm going to put on a memory card. So I'm not going to do any of the extra software features. It does have a screen that tilts up. I like that. It also is covered with a plastic film. So you don't have fingerprints on it coming out of the factory. There's also a plastic film around this area as well. And across the top so you've got an area over here that can be opened and I guess that's where my ink cartridge will slide into this door here I haven't read anything so I'm not gonna do that yet and then over on this side we have it has a lock on here and then it has your USB and then another power source so two power sources over here you put your memory card in here very nice and then they've got an on button a home menu this is the Wi-Fi icon and then you've got your copies you go up or down left or right throughout the photos and then you can click OK you can enlarge decrease go back and print so I am going to get this set up get it hooked into power take off all of the SX packaging I will come back and install the print cartridge so you will know how to do that and we will open up for some pictures and I'll also put some pictures onto a memory card so that I can have some pictures to print and I will do some reading of this manual so I'll know what I need to do. <laughs> so I'll be back. And we have some things that we can print. I have kind of glanced over the manual and I have stopped at how I'm supposed to install all of this stuff. So first thing we need to do is I am going to unplug this. I actually have plugged it in in the back. And I forgot to show you that you can put a battery into this compartment. You pull this button down, it'll release, and you can insert a battery there if you want to purchase one separately. You're going to open this door, and we are going to install this cartridge. And there's an arrow on top showing you what is the top, and then it shows you the direction that it's supposed to be pushed in. And so I am now going to do that. I am not going to touch this film that's in the middle. And also on here, it tells you how many prints you can get on this. And I'm going to have a difficult time showing you unless I zoom in maybe. But right here on the top, you can see there is some text up here. But it says that it can do posts card four by six size five prints and then that's all that this is going to last is for five prints and I know it's gonna not show up but I just wanted you to see that also there's an arrow up here that also lets me know that this is going in right side up so let me zoom you back out and so I am going to tilt this up and we're going to slide this into this printer and push in until it clicks and then we can go ahead and close the door now we also have a memory card we're going to open the front cover we're going to insert our memory 
card in and then you push it in until it clicks into place as well. Now I have the cassette holder here. It will hold up to 18 pieces of photo paper or postcards or labels, which are some of the other things that you can print with this printer. And we're going to do those in some separate videos. I do not have postcards or photo labels, but we're going to test this out. And if it works out, then maybe I'll order some additional things. And then you actually open this top flap. And then you also lift up the second flap. And we're actually going to put our paper here. Now the paper came into a pack and it said if you have a protective film on your paper you need to remove it it just says remove this sheet before putting paper in the paper cassette you have a wrong side which lets you know that you're printing on Canon paper and you have a glossy side which is on top I am going to put this in on glossy side up once that's in you're going to push this down like so this outer top flap stays open. Next, we need to insert this into the machine. So we've got the door open here and it opens pretty easily. You just pull this down and it opens and you're going to slide it where you've got part of your paper hanging out. That part of the unit is going to go into the cassette area and it kind of clicks in and now at this point I'm going to go ahead and plug this in I have plugged my connector piece up to the um, power source into the other cord as well and now we're ready to cut this on so I'm going to press the on button I'm hoping you can see the screen is starting to load and I'm just going to move all of this out because these this is my box where I have 54 pieces of paper that will also print uh, enough ink to print those 54 cards and I will tell you that I cut this on before I got to you just to see what would happen and it did tell me that it did not have any ink nor did it have paper so I just want you to know that it will do that as well it also states that you only put in 18 pieces of paper because if you put in more that you may damage the, the printer so we've got menu options up here I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing here but we're just gonna keep going forth you've got a button up here that says start printing you can choose setup and then we can set this up on a Wi-Fi. You can change your display language. So I've already got that set up. Uh, supported memory cards. It tells you a list of the memory cards that it can take. SD memory cards, SDHC memory card, SDXC memory card, mini SD memory cards, mini for all of those things I just read and then you can take micro cards as well and it says that some of these will take an optional dedicated adapter for the micros so I've got my in my memory card entered into the slot we're gonna do a basic print we're gonna choose an image so we've got to open up a folder some kind of way Oh, they're already here. So those are the pictures that I want to print. I have them on my card. So I have to go through here and print, select each picture that I want to print. So I'm going to start with this one here. And then I'm going to say okay because well I want to print one copy right there you print push the up it doesn't default to one it was actually at zero and then if I hit okay it will print that picture
So it's saying that it's busy. Hoping that you can see that. Trying to tighten this so it doesn't move so much, but doesn't look like it's working. So first time it comes out, it has this yellow hue. Then it's going to go back and get the magenta color. And then it would go back and get cyan. So it actually goes in and out the printer three times. And like magic, there is a picture. Yay! So it actually does it four times. It does a white on top. I did not know that. Very nice. Very nice. So then our photo comes out and so we've just printed one of our pictures and it doesn't say you have to wait to do anything with it but you can go ahead and pop the extra pieces out that the printer needs to print and these pictures are supposed to be indestructible in that you cannot rip or tear them. I'm kind of scared to do this, but that's what it's for. So if I'm ripping and tearing, it doesn't tear. But I can see I've got like a little wavy edge. So I've damaged my photo a little bit. But that's pretty cool. So now we're going to go ahead and select another picture. And tell it that we want to print one copy. Go to the next picture. Let me go back and make sure that I took that zero was on that one because we just printed. So I can only do four more. So I want to go up for one. And then I want to go up for one again. And last picture, up for one. So now I have four pictures here waiting to be printed. And I'm going to try to zoom in so you can see that. All right, so I wanted to make sure that you can see that. And I'm going to see if I can go ahead and tell it to do another picture so you can see what I'm doing. Once the pictures come up, you just use the buttons here. You've got a button that goes left to right so you can go back and forth. And you got top and bottom, up and down. And so I just basically press the next button. I press up. And then it will say that it's going to print. And that four now changed to printing five pictures. However, I don't have enough to print five pictures because this only will print a total of five and we've already printed that picture. So we're going to now go ahead and tell it to print. Oh, we'll just print. We'd say okay first. And then it says press okay. The preview screen is displayed. To adjust the settings displayed, press the menu button and change the settings on the print settings screen. And I have no idea what those settings would be, but the finish is glossy. You can have borders or borderless. And then you can have a page layout. One up. You can image optimizes on you can change the level of brightness in your photo you can do color adjustment you can say my colors where you probably done some adjustments smooth skin is off correct red eye is off date and time is off and I'm sure that that's going to be the date and time that we're printing and I don't want that on my pictures and then file number is off. Print dots to prevent reuse is off. So I have no idea what all of that stuff is, but yeah. We're now gonna press the back button here so I can go back. And then we're just gonna go ahead and print. And so I don't have know anything about making adjustments onto this. So I will not be making any of those right now. 
and I am going to set you back down and zoom you back out so you can see this print the next four pictures hopefully my battery is saying it's low So picture number two is done. They do seem to be a lot grayer in color than my, if I was printing these as originals, but I'm still okay with that. <laughs> Especially when you need pictures on the fly. And I want to measure this picture as well to see what size it actually is. If, is it exactly four by six? So I'm gonna do that off on the side. And although the picture states that they're four by six, they actually print at three and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. So they're just a little bit shy of being the four by sixes. So that was about 47 seconds, which is what they said in the book. So um, I'm still going to be doing a lot more printing with this printer. I'm going to come back and after I hook it all up to the Wi-Fi, I will come back and see how it runs from Wi-Fi. So I'll be doing some more videos on this. I have like about 28 days to return this to HSN if it doesn't work out. So I want to really give it a full workout. And I will be trying to use all 54 or most of this pack, at least half of this pack, um, in my previews. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel with your other quilting friends. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye, T-Quilters. Stay blessed.